Hey everybody, welcome to Sim World Gaming. You join us here in the Boeing 737 in Microsoft Flight Sim. We're currently sat at uh, parked up at uh, Edinburgh Airport, and we're about to fly down to Manchester. We've got um, full multiplayer uh, set up in this with uh, the uh, name gamer tags you can see there. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a different one this one. Uh, we're gonna see some aircraft taking off. Just gonna get ourselves set up, uh, get the aircraft set up. Uh, taxied out and we'll get on our way. So here we are on board. Looking good. Got some light aircraft to the side. Got Neil parked next to us. Not sure who that is. Can't quite see. Right, let's get fired up. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Up above, let's get the wing on. Anti collision on position strobe logo taxi right left awesome let's get a little bit of light fantastic no smoking seat belts push back initiated uh, legs there we go fantastic loving the Boeing Max. to Manchester Airport, file take off runway 24, climb and maintain 9,000 feet. So in this one I've actually disabled the uh, static aircraft uh, plug-in that I had on this one. Um, so we're just running, I think it's about 85% density um, for traffic sat at the gates just set up in settings. And obviously like I say I've got the labels on there so we can see who's flying around. Of course I've got easy jet livery here, one of my favourites. Just a short flight this down to Manchester. Um, what you're viewing here is Edinburgh Airport add-on also and uh, I also have the add-on for Manchester Airport so should be good. We're running live weather also um, just for that added uh, realism. Got another easy jet flight parked at the gate, well not the gate but parked up there. Um, yeah, should be good flight. So yeah, we'll just get ourselves uh, taxied out, get ourselves into position. Loving the uh, the parked aircraft actually. This is just a little bit different than what I would normally do. There we go, we've got um, flight sim call. It's good to see other aircraft around actually. Something a little bit different for me. I normally like quite like playing the sim in a quite a clean way, just so that there's no one else around. Because you get too many idiots sometimes on this. Got your craft um, just waiting to take off there, which is pretty cool. The jet livery looks absolutely fabulous. It's really cool. Lots of 
lots of great custom views as usual. You know what I'm like, I like my custom views. I'm not running the audio on ATC, um, just because I can't stand the uh, <laughs> computer voice in this. I think it just doesn't work at all. I think it's horrible, it sounds awful. It's good to see actually the um, loads of uh, aircraft parts up at the stand. I think it, I'm sure it's 85 percent. I've got the setup at, uh, or 85 is the setting. So it's just good to see. I'm considering actually just flying now with um, full on multiplayer and label. You see, like this dude here, he's not budged, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, he's changed it. Um, you can see it popping there, you see the um, textures popping on the plane, which is a bit annoying. It's things like that that I don't like, I, it's just I find it irritating. But yeah, I need to pop out in a little bit, so I just thought I'll do a, try and do a very quick flight. A little bit of wind there, you can see in the windsock. Just continue rounds get ourselves in, into position just get the ATC taxi and hold short runway 24 using taxiway echo Foxtrot Alpha Delta We're just coming around now but we have got this aircraft sat there which is a little bit annoying but I think we've got a clearance. Symbols 317 X ray. We'll win 221 at 15. Cleared for takeoff on runway 24. So let's get around in a position we'll get air bomb. I don't think we need to bother too much about. Um, Lighting in this one today, it's pretty clear. Here she comes, just swinging round, just like sitting at the end of the runway, I think. Okay, let's just do a couple of checks. Engines are okay. <clears throat> Got our legs in the computer. All good. Everything looking good. The flaps fine. Right, okay. Let's get ourselves underway. Okay, and let's apply thrust. Off and running, folks. Goodbye, Edinburgh. V1. V1. Andrew Tate. Do love taking off in this aircraft. Boeing 737 Max. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Quiet aircraft too. Oh, let's flick that taxi. There we go. A little bit better. Now we can apply a little bit of lighting. Awesome. Just set up a little bit. A little bit of a view. Oh, actually, let's get a wing view. There you go. Up over the fields. Arthur C in the background there you can see way over there getting up into the cloud now quite a few players around greater muffin Tom Wolf King Riley flying Scott that's a good one <laughs> um, back into the cockpit 
lot of these dudes are heading south all over the place so we're just swinging round into the flight plan let's just click on the map uh, let's just zoom out a little bit so we can see where we're at there we go awesome let's do the same on this side let's just zoom out there you go that's better love the computer screens in here the ND displays are fab Just leveling off, just passing flight level 058, expecting flight level 090. Currently on our way to Manchester. An external view for you. It's easy jet flight. I just thought it'd be good to um, just to have multiplayer uh, upload. I don't normally do multiplayer because the screen can get a little bit cluttered, but it's just good to see who's around actually. Right, control A, let's have a look what we've got. So we're just heading up to flight level 090 currently and we'll continue to climb up to our cruise altitude. Just have a quick check off, off, off. On, on position. That looks good. Okay, cool. Cool. directly into the sun, I think. This is now uh, bugged up to flight level 150, so we are currently past flight level 121. Continuing to climb. Weather conditions are actually really good, to be fair. Uh, what's the wind doing? 280 degrees at oh, 18, 22, <laughs> 8.6 nautical miles to our next waypoint. Just a little bit. There we go. It's a flight path south. It's getting up into some cloud now. Loads of aircraft around. Good to see. Snow in the hills, ooh, cool. Like I say, this is live weather we're running here. Let me just call up my VFR map on my tablet. just call this up.
Okay, got my VFR map up on my tablet. So we are just east of Moffat currently. Heading down towards borders. Amazing cloud formations. Loads of players in Airbus, Boeing, Cessna. Cool. Got a few in there, I think. Let's get a couple of views for you. Engines. Oh, got loads of players behind us too, actually. F <laughs> F18. We've got. Oh goodness me. It's good to see the variety of aircraft. Oh, there's a cracking view of the clouds. Look at that. That's amazing. Brilliant view of the clouds. Flavory Goblin. XD, Wind XD, and an A20 Airbus. Awesome. A bit of snow around. A bit of snow. It has been freezing weather. So yeah, just something a little bit different on this uh, upload, like I say, just uh, thought I'll just click on and we'll have a multiplayer session. So we're just north of Carlisle now, making good progress. It's only a short flight, like I say, only a short flight, because we've also got a bit of time in the house to, uh, to stream. F my start now. Making good progress. Shouldn't really take us as long as flight. Only a short hop. A little city hop. Looking to add in uh, more airports, so I'm looking to buy some more shortly just to add to my uh, whole Microsoft Flight Sim collection, it should be pretty good. I haven't got round to streaming this yet, um, just whilst I build up a bit of confidence on my uh, skills at landing. <laughs> Easy to take off, <laughs> more difficult to land. Loads of players around, goodness me, there's a fantastic view, look at that. It's looking amazing, this easy jet, Boeing 737 MAX. It's not really an aircraft that loads of people fly, but I, I just love it. It has, in real life, got a bit of a checkered history. I think it was grounded for a period of time, and just gone past Lockerbie. Coming up to West Moorland now. Like I say, a little bit, a little bit of a test flight. This with all the uh, the multiplayer um, guys on, so it's good. Good, good, good. See what you think. Let me know what you think. Do you like flight sim? Do you play flight sim? Do you play it in uh, multiplayer a lot, or do you prefer to play it more solo, as opposed to having all these labels on the screen? I don't mind actually. I don't mind. Sometimes I like to play it and just have it clean as though it's a real flight. And other times I don't mind it, it's got labels on it, it's just good. Makes it a little bit like a, it's not a group flight, but you know what I mean, it's it's, it's a little bit more engaging, isn't it, when you've got a few multi multiplayer guys on, a few um, labels to use, see who's around. I love that F-A-18. <laughs> I can see them and of course they can see me, so all good. Look at the weather, absolutely awesome weather here. What am I getting here? I'm getting about 52, 53, up to 60 FPS in this. Playing this on uh, the PC, not the uh, Xbox. Okay, 
gosh, we're not far away at all. Very short flight. What's our altitude? Flight level 149. There we go, 149. Shap. That is proper in the borders. Yeah, the way that I normally play this, um, I've got the uh, keyboard on my lap. I'm actually sitting in the sim racing rig, but I actually got the keyboard on my lap. And I use the mouse on my uh, mouse mat at the side of me here in the sim racing rig, um, and I use the controller to uh, guide the aircraft when I need to. In case anyone's wondering, I don't have a yoke. Although I've been toying with that here to get my yoke um, and setting it up. Um, I think it would be interesting to put it on the sim racing rig and actually put a yoke in with all the rudders and all that sort of stuff. I think it would work really well actually. But it's a bit of a faff taking everything off and putting everything back on again. So I tend to make life easy for myself and use a controller. Continuing to fly south. Wind's coming at us from 324 degrees at 17 or 14.6 nautical miles away from Shab. Point. I think that's the highest point on the M6. Uh, if you're ever on the M6, that's the highest point. Let's get into a bit of cloud. I live in Warrington, so not far from Manchester at all. It's a little bit cloudy. Airspeed is 322. Heading on five seven. And our Boeing 737 Max. I would expect to be quite a bit of congestion around Manchester Airport. I would expect to be quite a lot of people hovering around Manchester Airport. Thick cloud. get to shot we're going to bear a slight right Lake District National Park Kirby Lonsdale we are north of Kirby Lonsdale Just get some uh, cool wing views. Just loving the cloud formations today here. Fantastic, absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome views today. Look at the clouds, wow, bloody amazing. So cool. view underneath. Oh, I have set up some good cabin views, there you go, some good uh, cockpit views for you. Zoom in. Engine views. Of course. 
house underneath it's still a bit of snow around check out the snow epic views I think it's 23 right we're coming in at Manchester Airport, if I'm correct, if my memory memory serves me correctly. Yeah, we're not really far now, sort of north of Preston. And so we we'll, should start our descent fairly soon, I would think, into Manchester once we get clearance from air traffic control. I love doing these little city hops. I just think I just think it's so good to do just these domestic flights, especially when the weather's like this. It's crisp, it's bright, it's quite a bit of cloud around. Great to see who's online too. Oh, I've got a bell there. That's a helicopter, Mister Whelan in a bell. tremendous number of sim pilots that's what I prefer to call them I prefer to call them sim pilots as opposed to players I mean this is a, a pretty full-on simulation as is X-Plane which I bought ooh, a week ago a couple of weeks ago I think it was there we go I think we're beginning our descent now let's get back into the uh, cockpit check it out yeah we're beginning our descent now so let's just check out ATC Sim world, where are we? Where are we? 15,000 feet. Okay, so that was another message. Where are we? Maintain, I can't read it now. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet. Sim world 317. Then the vast is to go down to 2,400 2, feet. Expect vectors visual runway 23 right approach. Sim world 317 X ray. Down into position. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice, smooth, easy landing. Oh, snowy, snowy, snowy. Just let the aircraft do its thing. The ND displays in this aircraft are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I like how um, you can also flick it to map, so when you're at the airport you, you actually get a little bit of a visual of the outlay of the airport, which is pretty cool. Very snowy. The only other thing that I don't like so much about multiplayer, but I will just stick with it, is the fact that, oh, we've got one in there, like that, is the fact that, um, you know, some, some of the sim pilots if you don't have the livery loaded, you just get the default colours. I kind of don't like that. It's a bit annoying, that. You want it to be as realistic as possible, don't you? So I just hate it when you see default colours and things. We've got a great view. What a vista. Yeah, I've got loads of play around here. One thing that I'm trying to do also, um, because I am running this... I'm not running this through Steam because I felt like I was having quite a few problems with lag and stuff. So I actually downloaded Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator Professional through Xbox, through Marketplace. Um, and it's just running so much smoother. And also, in case anybody else is watching this and they've had problems with this crashing back to desktop, I have found an incompatibility when you've got Stream Deck plugged in. So I was using my Stream Deck um, as a way to get to, you know, use as shortcuts for various toggle switches and maps and utilities and God knows all what in Flight Sim, but it was causing it to crash to desktop. You'd get three quarters of the way through the flight, boom, crash. So I've unplugged it completely from PC when using Microsoft Flight Sim and every every flight that I've done since, of which I've done about 10 now, it's been absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on, not crashed, been solid, brilliant. So yeah, I think there's an incompatibility issue with Stream Deck. So 
we're just coming down now, passing flight level 079. This thing. It's so quiet this aircraft. Manchester Airport symbol 317 X ray is at 9,200 feet, descending to 400 feet. I also try and avoid um, opening up the VFR window in here because I read in a number of forums online that the VFR map can also cause it to crash. Um, so I just avoid that, hence the reason why I have the VFR on my tablet using a little utility that I have. I think it's just called VFR Map. <coughs> Basically as you load your sim on your computer, there's a little uh, application you can click, it will connect to the sim and then if you go to your tablet and open up um, your IP address in the browser uh, it will display a VFR map with the position of your aircraft on it um, which is uh, brilliantly helpful for in terms of geography and understanding where you are so we are just north east of Manchester Airport at the minute we're sort of coming down a little bit of snow in the hills all good a little bit of light cloud on the hills too somewhere over here I think where we need to be so we're just going to let the aircraft do its thing brilliant little flight this just nice and easy short flight Edinburgh Manchester and the 737 Max Boeing online multiplayer loads of sim pilots around I love people flying helicopters in this too, really good. I think I'm going to be flying some smaller aircraft too. I uh, fancy doing some Cessna flights and um, maybe some private jet flights too, would be quite good. So we're just coming down now. Flight level, the true flight flight height altimeter, an altimeter, so I can get the horse right. You can see there in the black box. coming over these uh, wind turbines so we're going to be making a turn to the right shortly let's get ourselves into a position there she is you can kind of tell where the airport is because we've got all these, plane, <laughs> all these sim pilots hovering there we go making a turn now We should put some landing lights on. Not quite taxiing yet, but get some landing lights on. Just swinging round, she's going to line herself up. So, this is an add on airport. This is what I bought in uh, Marketplace 2. Just again, just trying to add to a little bit more realism in the simulation. Just make the airports look as good as it can be, especially with all the clutter and stuff that they have at the airports and, and whatnot so I'm quite excited by seeing what Manchester Airport's like in this I'm trying to sort of every time I do a flight I'm trying to sort of buy buy additional airports wherever I can so I bought a few UK ones now just coming in over the hills just lining myself up nicely Oh, look at the highlights bouncing off the water there, isn't that fab? Isn't that fab? I love the patches of snow. Don't have so much of a visual on the runway yet or the airport. Let me just zoom in. 1000 call out, that's because of the hills. There we go, I can see where we are now. East of Royton, Oldham. If 
fantastic little flight this this is why I love flight sim it just takes you away from everything you can fly anywhere in the world and it looks utterly gorgeous doesn't it look how cool this looks it's realistic as hell really good I have so I bought all of my um, Microsoft uh, flight sim and all the add-ons through marketplace I can transfer everything onto Xbox I have been considering transferring over onto uh, purchasing an Xbox Series X and putting it on there. The only downside to that is I don't get my ATC and whatnot, my utilities that I can uh, plug into. So that's the only downside, but what it would give me is a constant frame rate and super high res graphics. About to do a sharp turn to the right. I love the highlight. See that? See the ping of light hitting off the water. Just starting to uh, come around a little bit now. Gear down. Awesome. There we go. Swinging round to the right now. Engine's good. Flaps good. Let's get a little bit of a wing view as we come round. There you go, folks. Amazing. She's looking good. There's the runway. Am I set not too high? No, no. That's the runway dead ahead of us, you can see. Just get ourselves lined up. Set up a little bit. She'll swing around. Just gradually guide the aircraft around. That's better. Just trying to get the right view. She'll go back and forth. Just correct herself a little bit. A little bit too sharp at on. Sitting at 1,900 feet. Sorry about that, folks. It's just my uh, my controller. Just my controller. Just resume that. Just trying to get a little bit of control. Let's just bring it around a little bit. There we go. Just glide her in. So I'm manually bringing her around. We are a, a little bit round. The autopilot was taking it all over the place there a little bit. So let's just bring it around. Get herself lined up properly. She glides in. That's better. A little bit stuttery. See that aircraft ahead of us? 1,000. 1,000. Let's just bring her around. Let's glide her in. Much better to manually bring her in. 
There you go, just level up, level up, I can't even see it, level off a little bit. There you go. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Get her lined up. Nice and easy, there you go, perfectly lined up. Just coming in behind this aircraft. Just a little bit to the left. She's going to come round. Oh, it's going to be an interesting landing. She's coming down, gliding down. Just bringing her down behind this aircraft. Totally manual landing. A little bit steep. It down. Nice and easy down the middle. Pull back. Pull back. Let it come down. Oh, come on down you come. There we go. Awesome. Good landing. That was a good manual landing. I <laughs> had to take over there a little bit, but we managed it. It was all good. All good. All good. Love it. Such a quiet aircraft, though, do you not think? It's so quiet, this aircraft. Oh, that was epic. Right. Absolutely epic. Let's just get off the runway. Just take it all the way to the end. Just gradually tapping the brakes. There we go. Crikey, that was a bit of a smooth landing. Let's just get off the runway. Epic, epic. Just a look, there was a little bit of lag in that, I feel. A little bit of graphics lag. Let's just turn around. Uh, Manchester Ground, taxi to gates. Taxi to gate 12 L using taxiway Alpha Charlie. Alpha Charlie Lima, symbol 317 X ray. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of really considering whether or not to put this onto my onto an Xbox Series X just because of the frame rates and stuff. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a think about that, whether or not I invest in in that and actually transfer everything over there. And it'll give me maximum graphics, and it means that I can capture it and stream it and all sorts of things. I mean, um, that's the reason why I bought everything on Xbox Marketplace. So yeah, we'll just see, we'll just see how I go with that one. I think. Get a bit of a wing view for you. Again, tons of players around. Closed cube. It's coming out to land, I think, there. Got anyone else? I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, we've got an aircraft coming into land there. There we go. He's just coming down. JCMM33. Is he taking off or landing? I think he's landing. Yeah, he's landing. There we go. He's coming down. Epic. It's good to see people uh, in the sim, isn't it? So this is Manchester Airport, which is an add-on I bought. So you see the coloured aircraft there, which I think is a little bit annoying. Another aircraft coming in. You can just plane spot here all day. Josh coming in. Just get ourselves up to the gate. Yeah, 
me ticking off again. Got quite a few aircraft coming in here to land. I think that's another easy jet flight there. See how you get the stuttering with the uh, online play? It's a little bit frustrating. To find it, this gate. But yeah, just loving the Boeing 737 MAX at the minute. I just think it's a fab aircraft, very quiet aircraft. Great from us from a, uh, an upload point of view, streaming point of view. <laughs> you can hear your voice. See, my frame rate's dropped right down now that I've got into a busy, busy airport. Aircraft moving around too. Yeah, the other good thing about running it on the PC is the fact I can upload other aircraft, so my C-17 Boatmaster and stuff like that, I could uh, fly if I wanted to. Um, so you are kind of really restricted by what you can purchase in the simulation if you port it over to console, which is one thing. Just getting up to gate now, got aircraft shuffling around. And the other thing is, we ain't going to give way. <laughs> <laughs> Got this aircraft coming to you, it's going to go right through us. There's the airport, you see. Jean. None of us are stopping. He's coming my way, I'm going his way. Let's pass through each other. We right through the wing. He stopped, but I'm going. <laughs> Love it. Jet. Low cost. What does that say? Oh, I think we're in. We're in here actually. Here we go. This is our gate. Epic flight. Absolutely fantastic little flight. That. There you go. There's a dude. He's just guiding us in. Manchester Airport. Mag. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's just set up a little bit so we can see it. Fabulous. Let's try and get this position right. and easy. There we go. Put his arms down. Nudge it forward. Park. Caution. Fantastic. There we go folks. Welcome to Manchester Airport. The jetway in position. Take our landing lights off. Oh, don't need to do that. Off, 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 off. Off. You can actually turn these all off now. Off, 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 off. Let's get an external view. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a short flight. Manual landing using the. Uh, I use my Xbox controller. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll take a quick screenshot. Join me in the next one.